In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the hydrostatic force acting on a circular object submerged in the water. So the problem says, find the hydrostatic force on one end of the cylindrical drum, which is basically just a circle, with radius 3 feet that is submerged 10 feet deep in the water. So you can see here, the distance from here to here is 10 feet, as shown in the textbook, and the radius is going to be 3. The first step is to put the x and the y axis onto this diagram. And the way to do it is you put it at the center of the circle. So the idea behind finding the hydrostatic force is that you find the force of, let's say, this stripe acting on the circle, then the force coming from this one, then this one, and you keep doing it until you reach the very top of the circle. Then you add all of those forces together, which gives us the hydrostatic force. Let's say that we're currently at this stripe. Then the distance from the center to the stripe is y. That's the vertical distance. And the distance from here to here is going to be x. But since the y-axis divides the circle in halves, we also know that, that the distance over here is also x. So the total length of the stripe is going to be 2x. And here is the formula. Now let's find A and B first. Well, we want to find the hydrostatic force acting on the object from here up until the very top of the circle. So that distance is going to be from negative 3 to positive 3. So A is negative 3 and B is positive 3. Since the problem is in feet, then the density will be 62.5. The length of the stripe from here to here is going to be 2 times x. But we have to convert the x into the y because the formula wants everything to be in terms of y. And let me show you how to do it. Well, first of all, what is the formula for a circle? Well, if you remember, it's going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared. And since the radius is 3, then 3 squared gives us 9. We simply solve for x, so we get x squared is equal to 9 minus y squared. We take the square root on both sides, and that's going to give us the square root of 9 minus y squared. Here we only take the positive, because if you imagine you have a ruler, it only makes sense to say that the length of the ruler is positive and not negative. We found x, so the length will be 2 times the square root of 9 minus y squared. Let's put it back into here. The depth is the distance from our stripe to the surface of the water, so it's going to be the red distance here. We know that from here to here, what is this distance? It's 10 minus 3, that's going to give us 7, because the radius is 3, right? And we know that this is 10, so this one has to be 7. Now, if you take this length and you minus this length, it's going to give us the red length. So the red length, or the depth, is just 7 minus y. Let's solve this integral together. So we take this, multiply by 2, and then we take it outside of the integral because it's a constant. So you get 125 times the integral from negative 3 to 3 of the square root of 9 minus y squared times 7 minus y dy. We need to solve this. We need to simplify this. We take this, multiply by 7, then we take this, multiply by negative y. That's going to give us 7 times the square root of y minus y squared minus y times the square root of 9 minus y squared. This is equal to 125 times the integral from negative 3 to 3 of 7 times 9 minus y squared dy minus the integral from negative 3 to 3 of y times the square root of 9 minus y squared. And why am I doing this? Because you can solve each one as a sub-problem and then we can combine them together. It's way simpler this way. In order to solve this problem, you need to know this theorem, which is the integral of symmetric functions. If f is a continuous function from negative a to a on the x-axis, then if f is even, which is just this formula, if you can show that this formula is true, then the integral from negative a to a of f of x dx is equal to 2 times the integral of 0 to a f of x dx. So what exactly does this mean? Or for example, cosine is an even function. Because if you look here, from negative a to a, the area on this side is equal to the area 
on this side. So all we have to do is just say, well, we only need to compute the area on this side and just multiply it by 2. If f is odd, or you just show that, that this formula is true, then the integral from negative a to a of f of x dx is equal to 0. So for example, sine of x is an odd function. If this is negative a, this is a, then we know that let's say this area, let's say the area of that is 2, right? Well, over here, the area here is negative 2. So if you compute the integral from negative a to a, it's going to be 0. These two areas cancel out. If you look at this function, this is an odd function. It takes a little bit of practice, but let's prove that this is an odd function. So the formula is f of negative y, because it's in terms of y, is equal to negative f of y. So here, f of y is this function, which is y times the square root of 9 minus y squared. What is f of negative y? Well, f of negative y is going to be what? Well, you just replace the y with a negative y, like that, times the square root of 9 minus negative y squared. So this is going to be negative y times 9 minus y squared. How about negative f of y? For this one, you just put a negative sign in front of this. So you end up with y times the square root of 9 minus y squared. And as you can see, both of these are the same. And because this is negative a, that's a, then this entire thing is just 0. So if you minus 0, it just disappears, right? So you get this. Now, this is very easy to do. You just use trigonometry substitution. And let me just save you your time. This would be equal to 12,370 pounds because the problem is in feet. So the unit will be in pounds. For practice, you can try this problem. So it's a circle submerged 4 meters into the water, and the radius is 8 meters. And if you do everything we just did, the answer will be approximately 2.36 times 10 to the power of 7 newtons, because the problem is in meters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful and you have questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.